In this class 47 of our intermediate level refrigeration and air conditioning course, we are going to study air conditioning that works with the R407C refrigerant gas and its working pressures. R407C is a refrigerant gas used mainly in air conditioning and refrigeration applications at medium and high temperatures. We are going to focus on the gauge pressures of R407C in an air conditioner. On the left in the first column, we have the saturation temperature. In the next two columns, we have the bubble or liquid pressure, and then the vapor or spray pressure. If you are wondering, why are there two types of pressures? This is because the gas has slipped. This sliding means that the temperature of its transformation from liquid to vapor or from vapor to liquid does not remain constant. In a mixture or tropics, the change of state of the most volatile compounds occurs first. This causes the temperature to increase throughout the phase change, until evaporation occurs in its entirety. Let's see the most common working pressures. They work with steam pressure, which is usually the most used. 1. To achieve a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius in the evaporator, typical of air conditioning systems, equivalent to 41 degrees Fahrenheit, a low gauge pressure of 4.45 bars is needed equivalent to 65.42 psi, or 449.45 kilopascals. Dot. The 2. For an outdoor environment temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, the condenser temperature is usually about 10 degrees Celsius above the environment where the equipment is located. Thus in the table for 40 degrees Celsius, about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The high gauge pressure in the condenser is 14.29 bars, equivalent to 228.88 psi or 1443.29 kilopascals. 3. For an outdoor environment temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, about 86 degrees Fahrenheit, the equipment turned off, with this temperature, has a gauge pressure, both high and low, according to the table of 10.68 bars equivalent to 157 psi or 1078.68 kilopascals. The parts of an air conditioner that works with refrigerant gas or 407 c are the same as conventional equipment, so we have in the indoor unit that is located inside the local evaporator turbine of the evaporator in the outdoor unit that is located outside the local, we have three. Compressor. 4. Condenser 5. Condenser Fan 6. Capillary Tube We also have the pipes that connect the outdoor and indoor unit. 7. Liquid Line 8. Steam Line RM-407C is a mixture made up of R32, RON-125 and RON-134A gases, with properties including pressure, capacity and efficiency that are extremely similar to those of R22. It is precisely the similarity that makes R407C used as a replacement for R22 in equipment that is working and in new systems. Let's remember that R22 must be replaced because it destroys the ozone layer. The charge with R407C must be carried out in liquid phase and po-type oil must also be used. For this reason, an oil change is often required, if the compressor previously used mineral oil. But unfortunately everything is not perfect with R407C, because despite not destroying the ozone layer, and although years ago it was a perfect alternative, its high GWP global warming potential value. Before it was not a problem, but nowadays, with the new environmental requirements, R407C also presents restrictions with current ecological regulations. Observing the values obtained. We can conclude that R407C handles pressures slightly higher than R22. At this time, we must mention that R407C, in addition to being used in air conditioning, is also widely used in water chillers for air conditioning where the pressures are usually very similar. 
Now I am going to summarize the main characteristics of RF 407C, which we recommend following so as not to damage equipment that works with this refrigerant gas. 1. RM-407C is a zeotropic mixture of RM-32, RM-125 and RM-134A, classified in Group A1, lone, non-toxic and non-flammable. 2. RM-407C has a lozenous depletion potential of zero, and a global warming potential GWP of 1770. 3. The substances that comprise RM-407C are used to achieve the characteristics that are needed. For example, RM-32 contributes to cooling capacity, RM-125 provides less flammability, and RM-134A reduces pressure. 4. RM-407C also has properties including pressure, capacity, and efficiency that are extremely similar to R-22. RF-407C is found in many chilies built in Europe, since the European Union phased out R-20 two years ago. 6. The discharge temperature is lower for RF-407C than for R-22 by approximately 6 degrees. 7. The lower discharge temperature will cause less stress on the compressor. 8. The discharge pressure of RF-407C is higher than that of R-22 by approximately 15%. 9. In fact, the pressures, temperatures, and heat transfer characteristics of RF-407C are similar to R-22. For this reason, RF-407C has been applied for years as a replacement alternative, in machines originally designed for R-22. 10. The average evaporator temperature is 1 degree C higher for RF-407C compared to R-22. 11. Cooling capacity is approximately 5% higher for RM-407C compared to RM-22. 12. The energy efficiency index is about 0.5% higher for RF-407C than R-22 on average. 13. Since RF-407C is a blend, when charging equipment, filling should start from the liquid phase to reduce compositional changes. 14. RM-407C is chemically very stable. 15. Since RM-407C does not have mutual solubility with substances such as mineral oils or alkyl benzene oils conventionally used in RM-22, there is a need to use compound oils with mutual solubility such as kali or ester oils. 16. If RM-407C is filled from the vapor phase, there will be a risk that it will have a very different composition than expected, which could not only result in not being able to achieve sufficient performance, but could also lead to failure of the RM-407C equipment or other significant adverse effects.